The Department of Health has confirmed that donated bivalent vaccines are expected to arrive in the country this month. According to the DOH, these vaccines will be given as a third booster shot to the priority groups, which include healthcare workers and senior citizens. Of course, yung healthcare workers, ito yung A1, sila ang tumitingin talaga ng ating mga COVID cases, no, and the more severe forms. So sila ay dapat talagang prioritize. And of course, yung A2, kasi sila din ang higher risk or more vulnerable, more vulnerable to the more severe form of COVID and of course, death. So kagaya nung dati, no, sa mga bakuna, sila rin talaga ang dapat prioritize. Selected hospitals and health facilities in different areas of the country will be part of the pilot rollout of the bivalent vaccines. So I believe that the important is to understand the more people who need to be boosted. Meanwhile, vaccine expert Dr. Nina Gloriani assures the public of the safety of the bivalent vaccine and highlights its similar features to monovalent vaccines. Of course, may coating, di ba, alis natin yung mga coating mga side effects, pero expected yun, pain at the injection side, pwede mag-fever, uh, medyo may flu-like symptoms yung iba, pero konting-konti lang yun. So basically, ang data show na ang safety features ng bivalent ay pareho ng monovalent vaccines. Gladys Tuwabi, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.